Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is April 4th, 2019. In this episode, we will learn how to use Doxygen to create technical documents on Windows. To follow this session, you need to install tools for Doxygen. Please double click this link. In this series of videos, C++ development environment, this is our first episode, how to install C++ compiler on Windows, especially Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. And in this video, the second episode, I explained how to install Clang C++ compiler, GNU G++ compiler on Windows. And in my third episode, in this video, I explained how to install Doxygen on Windows. And my fourth video, Markdown for Absolute Beginners using Visual Studio Code. You probably have to watch all four videos to follow this session. If you installed all necessary tools, then we need to double check. We need to check one, two, three, four, five things. I will create a folder, DEBsoft Tutorial, Doxygen Tutorial. I created a folder. Double click the link, copy the folder path, right click your command prompt, right click, properties, start in folder, start in folder, in this folder paste the folder path, click OK. Please note that we created this command prompt in our previous episode. In this episode, in the first episode, we created this command prompt. In this command prompt, we have to test five tools to create Doxygen technical documentation. First, we need to test GSWIN32CEXE version. In my case, I have not installed 32-bit of ghost script. I installed 64-bit. 64. So it gives me 9.26 version. We tested this application, Ghost Script, on Windows platform. If you haven't set the path, please find Ghost Script installation folder on your machine and you have to set environment variables. About setting environment variables, please watch this video. In this video, I installed these tools, show you how I set environment variables for these tools. Now, second, we have to test HHC EXE. Microsoft HTML Help Workshop. For this, we have to test HHC EXE like this. So you should have this message. Microsoft Help Workshop is installed. It is installed in this folder. Now we have to test GrapeBits DOT EXE. So DOT EXE version. Then you should see this message. Grapebits DOT EX is usually installed in this folder. And I explained how to install this tool in this episode, how to install Doxygen on Windows. Next, we need to test LaTeX and PDF LaTeX EXE, like this. LaTeX version. You should see this message. Also, PDF latex version okay you it should also work i installed big text this version of latex in this episode so if you haven't installed you should watch this video to install it properly if it does not work the command line does not work like this then you have to set its folder path environment variable like this copy the folder path or find your installation folder, in my case, big text, big text, bin, x64, copy this folder path, right click, search, environment, edit system environment variable, edit environment variable, select path, edit then you can create new and paste like this in my case i already added this pass
it is added here. Anyway, you have to set your environment variable like this. Then we have to test the oxygen like this on command prompt. Oxygen version. You should see this message 1.8.15 or 14. If you do not see this message, then you also have to set environment pass variable for oxygen exe. If every tool works, now we are starting our project. For more information about Taxigen, I will post this script on the description section below. You can refer these links in the description section. By clicking links in the description section, you can refer more resources. For example, if you want to know how to install Taxigen on Windows, then double click this link. Now let's get started. Start Visual Studio Code, go to File, Open Folder, Paste, sorry, Paste your working folder path, I copy this folder path, paste, backward slash, enter, select folder. Then currently this folder is empty. Click this button. My app folder. This is our app folder. Documentation. I created another folder. I will create resource. Resource. I created three folder. Then I will copy logo file for image file. I will copy a few logo files from here. Copy DBSoft tutorial, Taxian tutorial resource. I pasted some logo image files. And in resource, I will right click new file, Taxian how to MD. Please note that this is markdown file and here I will create a cpp file. Hello, Taxigen cpp. Right click, close others. Now we are creating our application here. I would say this is our first technical documentation project author Thomas Kim so I made a simple comment block like this now I include IO stream this is our base class all other classes should be inherited from this base class, class base public, we are making a simple function. This function sum takes an int n takes an integer n and returns the sum from one to n int sum int n if n less than 2 return n else return n plus sum n minus 1 so we are creating a recursive member function now we can create another class this is derived class from class base. This is solely for demonstration purpose. Class derived public base. Public. This pro int and takes an integer and returns the product 
of the integers from 1 to n. int pro int n if n less than 2 return n else return n times pro n minus 1. So we created two class and each has member function. This is not static member function. It is calling recursively. This returns sum. This returns product. This is the startup routine. int main std cout sum from 1 to 10 base sum 10 std and l we copy once again this is derived this is product products from 1 to 10 so we created a simple application like this and now we will build we will start our command prompt and we will build this application from command prompt dir cd my app here we now build with clang hello oxygen cpp o h c e x e we are building with clang compiler and clang compiler works properly now we are building with the GNU G++ compiler. It also should work properly. Now we are compiling with the Microsoft compiler CL EHSC and it should be F E M E X E. Also Microsoft compiler works. Everything works. Now we want to create documentation for this program. Here we created MD Markdown documentation. Right click, close others. From here, this is title. Welcome to the world of technical. Now we will right click, open preview. Then we can see Markdown documentation. How it is rendered. View, editor layout two columns i will move like this control v our first attempt for technical documentation in this episode i want to motivate my audience about the importance of technical documentation for their career in the future. We can create code like this. See, this is backed. C recursion, C++ recursion example. Int sum, int n, int if n less than 2, return n, else return n plus sum, n minus 1. This is a typical example of recursive function call. So we made a documentation like this. You can learn more about the advanced C++ programming technique from my website http www.talkplayfun.com please leave your comments and questions i will try to answer 
to your question ASAP. So we created a documentation for our application. Now we will turn this this documentation as our compiled Doxygen documentation, HTML documentation like this. In the desktop or click search Doxy wizard, then you can start this application. I already made a shortcut here. We have to select root directory, root working directory, select this is our root working directory, Doxygen tutorial. Copy this folder path, backward slash, then select folder. This is root folder. Then we need to provide the title. My first technical documentation project. To help my audience learn about Doxygen. Version will be 0.0.1. .0 we need to select logo. This is optional, but I will select anyway. From resource, I will select this logo. Then source code directory. We have to provide source code directory. This is our source code directory. Our, of our application. Scan recursively means we will scan all files below the, this folder. We will scan recursively all files below this our source code folder. Then destination directory select. It should be empty folder. We will create our documentation in this folder. Select. Now next. Documentation we will create all entities include cross reference in source code output optimized for C++ output next we will create with navigation you can select more options here then next we will use dot tool for graph based package we want to create call graph and called by graphs then next now go to export select input then here, click this button. In the source, we want to add MD markdown file. Then click this file name. Copy once again. Copy. Then scroll down. Use MD file as main page. Okay. Click next. Now everything is prepared. Go to file. Save. Okay. We can save the Doxy file here, or we can change the file name just to save it as default. Now we saved from run, run Doxygen. Okay, the file is created successfully. Show HTML output. Our documentation is created like this. My first technical documentation project to help my audience learn about Doxygen. This is the MD file we created. This is the MD file here. No. Here, this is the MD file we created. Then if we select, we select the class list, then we have two class, base class. This is our base class. This is our derived class. So it gives it gives the grep uh, drive the class reference. Then if we click base, then it has base class has a function sum. If we click sum, then function sum this function sum takes an integer n and returns the sum from one to n. So this message comes from our source code, our source code comment. So this function sum takes an integer n and returns the sum from 1 to n. This comment message is generated. So this message is generated like this. And space sum is called from function main. 
Okay. View. I want to close this tab. Okay, I close this file. So these comment messages are generated like this. And it also shows defined at line 16. Line 16. This function is defined at line 16. If I click it, then it shows the code. It shows C++ code. Exactly the same in this file. And the file members, we have only one file. In the file, in this file, we have function main. Function main calls base sum derived pro. So this way, this HTML file is created in this folder. In this folder, it gives complete analysis of our application. We can also compile it on the command line like this. In this Daxian tutorial folder, we can delete these two files completely. Then here in command prompt cd, you can see Daxian Daxi file we saved. Then we can generate like this. When we make changes to our application, then we can regenerate. Daxian, just hit enter. Then it will be recompiled and the help file will be generated, regenerated like this. By clicking index, index, we have the complete set of our documentation. Like this. So, for example, if we want to base class, base class, for example, this class, this is defined in my hello, this CPP file. It shows how, where the files are generated, defined. I hope you understand this concept. So if you want to use, take advantage of these powerful features, please visit these links. Please watch these videos and install Taxizen. By watching this one, two, three, four videos, including this one, five videos, you can create complete documentation, technical documentation for your development. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.